part of the video, I want to talk to you about the camera and what effect that has on your wheelchair. People ask us all the time, can I vary the resistance on the trainer when I'm doing a workout? The answer is yes. Every wheelchair comes with a camber. Typically on an active user chair, that camber can vary between zero degrees and typically no more than three degrees. Typically no more than three degrees to allow you to get through doorways. But having said that, we have seen chairs with cambers of five degrees and we've also seen chairs with cambers with a negative one degree. Okay, so when we talk about the camber, this is the angle that your wheels are set at. Okay, so how do I measure the camber on my chair? It's quite simple. You take a phone, you can download an app, they're free, it's a level, and the level will give you a digital readout of the camber on your chair. Okay, so on my chair, you can see I've got an open spoke configuration. So all I do, I take the phone, that's got the uh, level open, the app, and I simply place the phone across the hub at the center of my wheel. And you can see that the camber on this chair is three degrees. Okay, so on Glenn's chair, he hasn't got the open spoke configuration. This is simple to measure. You take a ramp. Put the ramp flat up against the outside of the wheel, so it's pushing onto the push rim. Take your phone and just place it flat on the side of the ramp. Okay, Glenn, so that's telling me that that's set at three degrees, which is typical, so the camera on that chair is three degrees. Okay, you. okay so when these trainers leave our factory, we preset the trainer at two degrees. Remember I said most chairs range between one and three degrees? That's the reason we pitched in the middle at about two degrees. To measure the uh, camera on your trainer, it's quite simple. Take exactly the same phone and app that you use to measure the camera on your chair. Just rest on your trailer like that, and if you look down, it's clearly reading it's at two degrees. Okay, so we've measured the camber on Glenn's chair, we've established it's three degrees, which is the same as mine as it happens. The trainer leaves the facility at two degrees. Now, when I push on there, I like a little bit of weight in the wheel, so I personally push at two degrees, even though my camber's at three degrees. But let's say you wanted a little bit more roll and a little bit less resistance, how do you alter it? It's quite simple. All we need to do is change the camber on the trainer to match the camber on your wheelchair. Okay, so to alter this camber, first thing we need to do is to remove the ramp. We then simply put the one side of the trainer up so that we can work on it. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is remove the rubber foot. Do that just by whittling it off. You can see that the foot's screwed all the way in and locked off with a nut. First thing we need to do is take the 13mm spanner again, put it on that nut, just free the nut off, which will then allow you to screw the foot all the way out. Okay, remember I said the trainer was set at two degrees and approximately every six millimeter that you bring this leg in and out will alter the camber by one degree. The trainer comes supplied with washers. If you place three of those washers over the foot then screw the foot all the way back in. Okay, so we've screwed the washers all the way in. All I want you to do again is take the spanner and just lock that nut off so it's tight. No need to over tighten, just pinch it up. Then all you need to do is replace the rubber foot. We then repeat exactly the same process on the remaining outside feet. So we'll do this back one first. Okay, so now I've put three washers onto every leg which is taking the rollers up by one degree. I'll just put my phone on. 
There we go. The train was at two degrees. It's now set at three degrees. So now we've altered the position of the cam back on the rollers. It could cause you to have some rattle under the ramp because obviously we've raised the back of the roller. This is ever so easy to correct. If you remove one of the ramps, you'll see that you've got this thumb nut here which you can adjust and by screwing this in and out you can raise or lower the back of the train. Okay so I've got some rattle under this ramp and all I'm going to do is screw the thumb nut in and out until I remove the rattle from the ramp. And obviously now I'll repeat exactly the same on this side of the trailer. 